Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we're back for another brand new video. That's right, a video, people, in the dark, because that's exactly what we got in that setting tough. I've never really thought about this, you know, because now I need to get back up to get the light on. See, that's working the knees, that. Honestly, I've not got that in my knees anymore, ladies and gentlemen. I've not got that in the knees, but what I do have is some lights. Something that can't be said for Portugal as Rangers went ahead and played 45 minutes versus Sunderland in the first game that football, the game that's in this ticker right here, returned. An inspiration, an exciting moment with filled with joy and happiness was slipped and slapped into pain as we got 45 minutes versus Sunderland. 24 of them was viewable and that was it for the friendly. And honestly people, I don't know how long this video is going to be or how long I'm going to have this camera rolling, but I honestly, there's just so much energy built up because I don't know about you, but when Rangers games come along pre-season, I know, I get into it. You know, I mean the plums start to plum. I knew I'm just sitting here, just, I never got it. You know what I mean? So I'm sitting here absolutely shaking to bits, so I, I'll try and discuss what I can from the game of football, but it's going to be extremely short, very sweet, very similar to Jason Holt, but I'll certainly try my best then, ladies and gentlemen. So I, pulling it back to the way the first team, uh, the, the team lined up, sorry, going into this game, McLaughlin, Tavernier, Goldson, Katic, welcome back, big man, it was great to see you throw your head at everything. We had big Barisic at left back in the midfield, which was going to be the question with Stephen Davis and Scotty Arfield. Penny. No wonder the lights went out. Alright, no wonder the lights went out that was 2022 and we're still putting them together. Didn't do this to me, Rangers, alright? I barely got any black hairs left on the Noggin Rangers. Didn't need another season of it. But we also had John Lundstrom and that was good to see. And the front three was Ryan Kent, Scotty, Scotty Wright, and our boy, Cholak, as I keep getting pronounced and told to change. But I like Cholak, you know what I mean? It just sounds better. Because I'm stupid. But whatever, people, whatever makes you happy. And even seeing that starting 11 and being disappointed with seeing Davis and Arm uh, Arfield sorry, starting together, I still some, saw some positivity there and I was excited to see. But again, well, I think we need to be fair to what this type of game was. And I'm not being disrespectful. But we know whether we feel it as fans. The first couple of pre-seasons games... It's just a running exercise, getting the ball in, stretching the muscles out, opening the legs up a wee bit, trying a couple of wee things, and just getting the first 15, 20% in your legs, the 15, 20% sharpness in. You could see that from Rangers. In fact, Sunderland was the exact opposite. They were nipping at the heels. They were getting stuck into everything. They were raging. It was almost like Tavernier made a Sunderland till I die joke in the freaking tunnel. They came out. We intensity, ready to play. We came out treating it like the very first game in pre-season. And I think that's why in the opening 10 minutes, the team that had the opportunity was Sunderland. It was a long shot from outside the box. It was fantastically saved by Big McLaughlin and Nets, who at that point, I went, there's our number one. And for there, I was pretty excited. I saw a couple of wee decent passes. I saw a good run from Kolak that was ended up being well saved by Patterson and Nets. For Sunderland, no, not Nathan. He's not slipped that far doing the pecking order just yet. And I was starting to get in it. Kent had a couple of touches and everything like that. And then, just like that, the camera was on McLaughlin's cheeks and we just sat there for like 15 minutes looking at the man's behind. Now, I like... John McLaughlin as much as the next guy, but I didn't need to stare at the cheeks for 15 minutes. Please, Rangers, at least cut the footage and just get to a blank screen. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was staring into McLaughlin's Johns, I just started to imagine what the game would actually be looking at. Are we passing the ball? Are we seeing a Lundstrom tackle? Are we seeing a pure shot from Scotty Arfield that he puts both hands up for and claims for a corner, even though he's hit it wide because we see that. 75 times a game. Have we seen Ryan Kent try and cut inside and be easily slide challenged? Have we seen Goldson scream for someone to make a move? I started building it in my mind. I played out the next 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then eventually the footage came back. And you know, just when you feel annoyed, and just when you're feeling a bit sore, what came back was it a beautiful move from Rangers? Was it a close-up of Kolak and his Govan Giroud face? Nah, 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 nah. It was the return or the replay, I should say, of Sunderland taking the lead 
in the game. Now, if that's not a kick in the Giroud's, I don't know what is, people, man. That's the highlight we see back them scoring a goal as a corner comes in. I'm not 100% sure, but I think McLaughlin gets knocked by either the Sunderland player or even a Rangers player. He falls down, the ball gets uh, fell to the back post and it gets slapped into the back. And it really, really poor goal, the type of goal you're expecting to see in pre-season. And I, uh, you're just sitting back saying, I can't believe that we've sat here and saw nothing. And then the first thing we see back is a Sunderland opener. And the way we responded was all right. Again, showing signs that it was a pre-season, but we had Tavernier with a very good pass in behind to Kolak. Just not that yet there, sorry. In the match sharpness, he could have probably got to it and intercepted the goalkeeper, but ends up running through and eventually leads to him having a shot with his right foot that was well saved by, once again, Patterson down there. And that was pretty much all I can remember in terms of that first half. In fact, it was that poor... Do you know how we ended the half? Barisic cut in on his right foot. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. On his right foot and hit a curl shot. I'd have preferred the stream to be off, honestly. Just just cut the stream off. But going into half time, we have our wee jokes, and I say it's pretty much everything you're expecting from the first pre season game from Rangers. Getting the score line doesn't really matter in these games. It's about just getting through it, getting people minutes, and you're expecting changes at the second half. We see Sakala jogging out there, smile beaming. Honestly, we could have used that beam on the part, ladies and gentlemen, because almost instantly that smile just came out there looking like starlight, just sucked all the electricity out the field as the floodlights went out. And that was it, people. Genuinely, if you want a highlight or a recap of what the second half was like, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a perfect representation. You complain at this channel and you complain to YouTube that we can't use match footage. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This was your entire second half before eventually the game was mercifully called off. Honestly, man, I'm getting my steps in with this back and forth. Eh? Oh, wish I was carrying my phone. I might have hit my 10k marker for a change. But anyway, that's it. That's all I've really got to say, people. Again, everyone else looked raging on the part. Obviously, we tried our best to get it on. There seemed to be a problem with the stadium. I believe... More seriously, for people that paid for the game in the package, every like Rangers are offering a refund. So if you go onto the Rangers Twitter account or the official Rangers website, there should be a link somewhere where you can start following that chain. So more seriously, we put all my wee painful jokes and everything like that. If you want to get your money back and everything like that, you can go down that route. Rangers are providing something. But that's it. It was a shame we couldn't see any more of the game. I'm very, very excited to see the next game. Hopefully the floodlights contain. But aye, we lost the camera feed. We lost the lights. We lost the goal, and we lost Joe Rebo. I'll be honest with you, people. I've had better days. Especially when Big Marv's sitting on Twitter ripping the pure pish at me, man. What's going on here? Why am I catching strays for Marvin Bartley? Eh? <laughs> Give me a break, man. Anyway, I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of today's video. Hopefully the next pre-season game will be better. But for anyone who's looking for exciting Rangers content in terms of signings, expect something very soon right here on the channel, you'll not be the last to see me over the next day or two, but aye, until then, take care of yourselves everyone, let me know what you thought of the freaking game from what you saw, have a wee bit of laugh, sum up the game in three words if you want, just have a bit of fun down in the comment section below, three words, hit me with it in the comment section below, and again, until you see this face talking about the next sign-in at the football club, I've been CJ992, thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.